name's John Cordy and I'd like to announce that I've got a new sponsor for the channel and that's uh, Groove Gear Fret Wraps and uh, they haven't sent me any fret wraps yet though. Alright, so that's a sock. It's the same thing, uh, obviously. Right, Monday is the day that we look at licks from someone and I decided to take a look at Matteo Mancuso, a, a few of his tapping licks, aside from kind of his super cool uh, picking technique. Uh, he's got some cool tapping licks and I thought it would be worth breaking a few of them down and just trying to explain some of the concepts that he's using and how you might come up with something like these yourself. So the very first one goes like this. This lick is happening over a kind of F-sharp Dorian sound. That kind of thing. And so what's happening is if you take like a six tuplet run, the very first quaver is a rest. So, so you sort of like take a breath before the line starts. Is how I'm hearing it anyway. it does that basically. So we start with an arpeggio up. So we're starting on the 13th fret, hammer on the 16th fret, and then the 14th fret on the B string, and then the 12th and 16th on the E string, and we're tapping on the 17th twice. that's what we end up getting so then the second we skip a string and down to the G string and we're playing an F sharp at the uh, 18th fret moving back down the scale and then down to an E at the 19th fret is that and then back down the scale So that's that one. Um, so kind of works quite well. Um, the thing to get used to is that this finger is tapping on the beat, if that makes sense. So something to try out anyway. The second one happens over a G blues and it's over the C and it basically ends up being quite a large arpeggio. So we're gonna stretch from the fifth to the tenth and we hit the seventh fret E on the way. So D, E, G, B flat, all notes from the C9 arpeggio. So hammer on on the way up, tap onto the 13th fret, come back down, then slide up to the 7th fret, and then we get this C here. So So basically this is the repeating pattern, so it's essentially what happens, so you can hear is the pattern and then you repeat that up an octave, and then but we're up two octaves from where we started now, so 10th fret, and then slide up again, and then we're going to play 12th fret, 15th fret, 18th fret, and tap on the 20th, all the way back down, and then, and then that's kind of a, a hard thing to do, so practice that. So slowly it should sound something like this. Yeah. 
So super kind of stretchy and slippery, um, but just practice doing that slowly and gradually build up the speed. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing with it anyway. Um, <laughs> The very last one uh, kind of happens in a B minor Dorian context. And doing this kind of thing. Uh, a bit of a kind of strange one, so again, slowly. So starting on the ninth fret. that kind of descending and then we on the G string at the ninth fret up the pentatonic scale and back down so we're going tapping on at the 16th fret and then up to the 18th fret and then down onto the D string at the 16th fret and then up to the 18th fret and the 14th fret and then again the 18th fret and pull off back down to the pentatonic scale so what Matteo is doing in a lot of these is Matteo in these licks is kind of using this extra finger to extend the scale so you're doing like a three note kind of pentatonic thing in one in the left hand and then kind of skipping a string so instead of practice this kind of thing jump a string jump a string so you could practice doing this kind of thing and obviously slowly That's kind of at the core of some of what he's doing. But um, that's what I'm going to be working on this week, some of these little tapping mix. Um, but I just broke these down and worked them out from playing them slowly. The tab will be up on Patreon. I'll flash it up on the screen, I think, for some of this as well, just to make it easier. Yeah, hopefully those are vaguely fun to work on. Uh, that's what I'll be working on this week. Um, if you want to get the tabs for them, they'll be up on my Patreon. Um, thank you for stopping by. If you want to like and subscribe, that'd be really cool. And I'll catch you for another video soon. Cheers.